move into actually getting to Minion Land. The soft opening was January, or sorry, June 17th was the first day. And they didn't announce that until the day before. So June 16th, they announced, oh, soft opening tomorrow. Yeah. Which I think is smart when you think about it. If you're, if you're talking about like crowd control, I think that's a smart thing to do. Well, when you're talking about a soft opening, the goal of a soft opening is to basically sort of work through the kinks as well. Because right. you're ideal, you know, in the restaurant and stuff, you're going to have new staff. St- you know, ide- potentially if you got a new ride, you're going to work through mm-hmm. stuff. So I think that is smart because if you announce this like a month ahead of time or two months ahead of time, you potentially have a lot of people coming on that day that are going to be just swarming it. And then if something goes down, you're going to have a lot of people disappointed versus, you know, a soft opening you announce it the day before. More than likely today, if you're going to get locals and, you know, podcasters, vloggers, you know, that type of thing. Right, right. So, yeah, no, I think it was very smart. Um, and so everything but the new ride, Villain Con Minion Blast, opened. Yes. Which is what? Yes. So what is open? You have the Minion Cafe. You have Bake My Day, Freeze Ray Pops, Papa Nana, the Illumination Theater, and then you have Evil Stuff. Uh, which this is the first thing that had opened. It opened a few days before the quote unquote soft opening. And this mm-hmm. is the basically the exit for the ride when it does open. Mm-hmm. That's a bunch of, as you can guess, Despicable Me and Minions themed, you know, gift shop. Yeah. And it's funny because across the street at Despicable Me ride, there's super silly stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's like that's all the Minion, the happy stuff. Then it's all the Sinister Six stuff. At evil stuff. <laughs> well, it's some of it's Sinister Six. A lot of it's they have actually all the villains from Despicable Me. Well, that too. Yeah. I just meant like that's the focus of the ride too. So. Right. Um, all right. So yeah, we we decided that we were going to go up on Monday on the nineteenth, and so we arrived around ten forty, ten forty five ish, and as we're walking through the land, you know, we took we're taking pictures and videos and stuff, but we saw. Illumination Theater, which is the meet and greet location for Illumination characters. Yes. We saw Kevin and Bob, the minions, were out meeting. We're like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. So we ran up and the, the team member said that the line was closed and that to come back at 1.30 or 1130 and then again at 1.30 they'll be out. I'm like, okay, no problem. We'll just come back. So... We instead headed over to Minion Cafe. We did. Yeah, we went, Nate, right off the bat. So like right off the bat. The yeah. So, what, what, Jared, what is Minion Cafe? Well, how would you describe it to someone? You may be shocked to learn that this is a, uh, it's a restaurant. It's a restaurant. It's a quick service restaurant that is completely themed after Minions. I will say this entire land, if you, like, for instance, I mean, I've, we've watched Minions tons. Our kids like Minions and Despicable Me. I personally enjoyed as well. It's one of those things when the kids watch it, I'm like, I'll watch this. Like, it, like I think Minions are hilarious. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this entire land is themed fantastically after Minions. Mm-hmm. And the restaurant is completely just Minion crazy. So you yep. walk in there, they have, it's all yellow. When you're it's walking a lot in, of yellow. they've got like a <laughs> tube, like you would assume, like a you know, like bank tellers. They shoot those things through the air pipes. It's like the minions are running the restaurant, right? Yeah. So in the air pipes, you've got bananas and orders <laughs> that'll say like bananas and whatever. So uh, you have that, and it's all like you know, a jumbled thing. It looks like a minion messed up painting out do- outside of it, and he's covered in paint. And you get in there, and yeah, it's just it's all like it's really interesting because they had skylights in there. So when the mm-hmm. sun's out, it's got a really bright colors with the yellow. Mm-hmm. It's got all the minion stuff in there. You got different themed sections. Mm-hmm. So we ate in the break room, which is the minions break room. Yes. Because they run the place and this is where they go and hang out. Right. So in there, you, well, I mean, what do you have in there? You've got foosball tables and work posters. Oh, yeah. Uh, Banana shaped. You, you've got lock. Cones. Yeah. You got lockers that have their, their stuff in it. And there's a, a minion chicken sitting in there it does make noise if you get close enough to it it'll it'll say something which is fun um and like what looks like it would be like a workstation kind of thing it's where you would go to get like silverware or like put your trash away but it's it's themed very cute yeah um the foosball tables were cool there's only two of them in the break room but it's basically it's a table 
Like it's a table to eat at. Right. So you can also play foosball, which is kind of cool. And they had motivational posters up on the wall. Like, what was that? Teamwork. What was it? Teamwork? It was like a mess it made. And it's like, teamwork. It means everyone's responsible. Or, no, or, no, it means or nobody's no, responsible. It means nobody's responsible or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, stuff like that. Like stuff that minions would say. And then it was like 33 ways to take a break. Minion. Like minions take a break. And it was like, get fired. Yeah. <laughs> Start a food fight. Yeah. Just walk out and quit. Like stuff like that. Something I noticed <laughs> the kitchen doors where they go in and out of, they had the hinges. So when it opened and closed, it looked like it was off its hinge. It was oh. a very subtle thing, but it was like you would think it would open like very and it so the door hinge, it was made to look like the door had been like busted open. I missed that. So there's a there's a lot of like very subtle like smart theming in here. Yeah, I mean there are there are tons of little just subtle things about it and not so subtle things about it. So, I mean, when we walked in, our kids absolutely loved it. Like right off the bat. I, if you, if you guys ever get to experience this restaurant, the, the first thing you should do after you find your table and it'll have a little QR code on it and a table number. And that's, you can order on the app or you can actually walk up and order. Um, after you do that, then you should just go around and just look at all of the theming all over. Um, because the break room is where we were, but there's also a kitchen area. So there's three different sections and the, and the one you actually walk into when you enter the restaurant is the kitchen. And there is a big circular display in the middle that shows, you know, shows the minions, quote unquote, minion, minions, uh, cooking the food or making the food. Mm-hmm. Like, and everything is bananas or that, uh, that purple, the evil, the evil minion stuff. Um, right. Well, it's from the second movie. The guy El Macho Macho. He turns some of the minions purple. I don't remember. Right. The, I don't remember the exact storyline. I remember that happening. Yeah. Um. So it's got like that, and then on the shelves, like at the the very top, like at the top of this by the ceiling, you've got just yellow knickknacks, like kitchen knickknacks, like yellow mixer, yellow toasters, yellow shaped utensils, like mm-hmm. everything. It's just lined up all, all around. So it's, it's really cool. And that's, that's the biggest section is the kitchen as the most seating. Yeah. And there's regular tables and there's booths. There's also high top tables. So you can kind of choose from there. And the third room is the dining room. And this, I think this might be the smallest section. I don't know. It's kind of long, um, but it is, it's kind of themed to what the minions would decorate as a dining room at the very, very end. They actually have those tubes. What are they called? The things that suck up. What are those I called? don't know the actual name. I always call them bank teller tubes, but that's the same. That's the same concept. <laughs> yeah, I forget. There's a name for it, but uh, where you're supposed to like put your dishes, quote unquote dishes. You don't really. It's just a display, uh, but it makes a sound as you're like it, it takes them up. But there's the broken guitar from the mi- first Minions movie when he smashes the guitar mm-hmm. in, yeah. in uh, London. There's Tim. Uh, Tim is framed on the wall. There's a bunch of pictures of Tim and Bob mm-hmm. <laughs> all over the place. And uh, it's just adorable. It's adorable in there. The only thing I wish they had was King Bob. It was King missing King Bob. Bob but. And then outside, there's patio seating. There is patio seating. Yes. And it does have fans going out there. Mm-hmm. But if it's on the day we were there, it's very hot out there. So mm-hmm. that's where you would sit if you cannot get a seat inside. And it's not it's not bad. Like it is shaded. It's shaded. It is shaded. It I mean shaded. you're still gonna have the heat and the humidity, but you don't have mm-hmm. the sun beating down on you. It's in shade. You do have yeah. fans. So it could be much worse. It just I do like be. how they did that. Yeah. How I'm, they made it to where that when you walk in the doors, it's there's there's like a plenty of shaded uh, in the front, like pillars yes. are up and then you can just kind of go yeah. underneath it and you're in the shade. And they do have a menu outside that's on a one of those tall TV screen type things you can mm-hmm. look at. So before you get in there, um, and I guess we can go through the ordering process. I actually okay. think the way they did this uh, was very pretty, honestly, really efficient. So you, they encourage you to order on the app, which is the best way to do it. Now you don't have to, they have right. a little register where you can go order up in person. I went up there cause I didn't know if they had a kid's Mac and cheese that just wasn't showing up. Right. Um, but so either way, so when you order, so basically the way ideally this would work is you go and sit down at a table and then place your mobile order because at each table you have a number so ours was 401 i remember that Mm -hmm. so when you sat down and you would place your order you would put 401 and once you you put your order in then they will just bring you your food to your table so you don't have to go get your food it'll come right to you so when you when i ordered up in person i asked in I didn't realize what was going on until she asked me. So I asked Jamie and I told her so you can tell them either way. But you ideally have your seat first. 
Right. They want you to find your table and then order. Yeah. yeah. So, and they bring all the food out to you. Um, the drinks came quickly and then the food came, I don't know, five minutes later or something like very that. Very fast. Yeah. Very fast. Very fast. So that's how the ordering process goes. It worked really well. We were there. Really efficient. Uh, we'll talk about what we got. Yeah. So Let's talk about the menu. Jamie got Otto's Noodle Bowl. This was seventeen ninety nine, and it is slow roasted porchetta udon noodles. Is it tar egg? Tari egg? I think tar egg, yeah. Okay. Uh, cilantro, roast corn, shrimp dumpling, and talk. <laughs> I don't know. It's that. in a broth. It's a broth. <laughs> um, so uh, just real quick, I took the egg out. I'm not an egg person. It was basically like a hard boiled, like a deviled egg. It was a hard boiled egg. Okay. Um, if it so was I, deviled egg, I would have ate it right away. But it was just never. Right. It was just cut in half. That's yeah. what it was. Okay. So I gave it to Jared. I was like, I don't, I didn't, I didn't care for that. And um, I very much enjoyed this dish. I will say that they bring out the noodles and the broth separately in little cups to your table when they bring the food, and they will pour the noodles out and then pour the broth on top in front of you. Yeah, well, because she came out and you were doing some filming. You had the kids, and yeah. she she brought it out. I was like, oh, and then she said, well, do you? Because she saw us filming stuff. She goes, well, do you want to film this part? She was so sweet. And I was like, probably <laughs> yes. yes. So I had to call Jamie over. <laughs> so yeah, they do the whole thing, and it's so it's it's a cool presentation. The noodles are supposed to look like bananas. They're, they're yellow. Re- they're real yellow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this was delicious. This was delicious. The porchetta was seasoned very well. I enjoyed it, and the broth was was very good the noodles were not they were they were cooked exactly like i like them which is not too soft kind of not chewy but like al dente dente. yes i do um so it was it was cooked very well i did not care for the shrimp dumpling i did not like that at all i ate one bite and i was like no thank you they put that to the side but everything else was so good i would get this again yeah, you were, I you did enjoy it. And I had a little yeah. bit of it. It was really good. I mean, I'm yeah. not the biggest on foes and soups and stuff like that, but it was Is pretty it good. Is or pho? Maybe it's pho. Either way. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not the biggest thing on it, so but I thought it was pretty good. But mm-hmm. I got the Uncle Drew's Sandwich. belly filling pork small, sandwich. But- and this was $14.99. This had slow roasted porchetta, chimichurri sauce, mustard aioli, apple butter, bacon jam, arugula... And on a Hawaiian pretzel bun, and it also came with green banana chips. But yeah, so I, I upgraded these and got the minion tots, which I'll talk about those real quick. So they are literally, uh, they look like little minions, and they're they're not. They're, so calling them minion tots, you're going to think that they're tater tots, Mm-mm, but they're, they're not. not. They're more like a, I liken it to a French fry cake. It's like potato cake. It's really good. Mm-hmm. They were very good. The texture was, it was like crispy on the outside, like kind of chewy in the middle. These were delicious. I love, I love them. I thought it was, and they're, again, they're really well themed food because they look like little minions and our kids both liked them as well. So. And I think you got five of them. I did. There's not a, you don't mm-hmm. get a ton. You get like five or six, I think. And it's a dollar to upgrade to those if you didn't want the banana chips. Yeah. Um, but it, yeah, it came with the kids. what do you think of your sandwich? Uh, sandwich wasn't the best. Um, okay. I'm not a big fan of, well, first of all, it was kind of small. Mm-hmm. It was a little cold when it came out. So okay. that right at the bat wasn't the best. Um, it wasn't terrible. It just, I'm not a huge fan of, uh, the, the sauce they put on it. I didn't, I, I there was a lot of the chimichurri sauce and mm-hmm. not much of the, the aioli. mustard aioli, the apple okay. butter. So I think that would have made it better. So it was okay. Um, the meat wasn't, it was tender. It, again, it was just kind of cold. So, okay. but not the best thing we've ever had. But again, it was meat. And the only thing I would say is maybe it needs more meat, but that's just what I always <laughs> say. But it was it was decent. Um, for the kids, we got them the Fredonia uh, Festival of Mac and Cheese. This is eight ninety nine, And it is just mini shells tossed in a creamy white cheddar cheese sauce. And it comes with minion tots and a mini banana. Yeah. Now, as macaroni and cheese goes, this was delicious. Like, yeah, so I may actually come out and say this was maybe the best theme park mac and cheese I've had. What? I think I loved it. I thought it was great. It was creamy. Like, it's like I like a mac and cheese. Best theme park mac and cheese? Really? What are you thinking? Well, I was thinking of like, I don't know, Homecoming. 
Well, that's Disney Springs. But I don't know if that, I'm talking in park. Okay. Hmm. But it's been a while since I've had, I don't know if I've ever had the homecoming mac and cheese. That's I would good. have said whenever Regal Eagle over at Epcot first opened, I would say there, but it is not as good as it was when it first opened. And you think this is better than oh, Regal I would Eagles? get. Oh, I would eat this. I would eat bowls and bowls of this. It was well, delicious. Kind of, so, it, so the white cheddar cheese is, is probably what makes it good, right? It was just one, like a lot of times you run into the new, like these were like shells instead of like your typical like macaroni types of noodles Mm -hmm. and the shell they were soft so they weren't they weren't hard so which sometimes can happen the sauce it it tasted and it was warm and it wasn't like this wasn't almost like half melted half solid it was just very perfect i would just say the texture so i loved it i there wasn't anything insanely fancy to it i just really enjoyed it so when Mm -hmm. the kids didn't eat all of it i was like i will take all of it well, our daughter liked it, and she, she doesn't like anything, so that was good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she she ate she ate a couple bites, which I was glad with. Our son, he really was not interested in eating much. He was very overstimulated. He was very much like, "Oh my gosh, where am I?" This he loves amazing. minions, so he was kind of going crazy with minions, which yeah. I don't blame him. It was everywhere. Yeah, like, he would just look at me and point and be like, "Oh, look at there!" Like, just, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, we also got some drinks. Um, why don't you talk about the beer you got? Jared got a Wells banana beer. Banana bread beer. Sorry. So banana bread this, beer. I, I heard about this and I was either like, this is going to be really good or really bad. I don't know which way. <laughs> it was $10 and it came in a can, so it wasn't in draft. But when they like when they brought it out, she said I had to open it at the table because I, they, I, they, I guess they don't want you giving it to other people, I suppose. Mm-hmm. So um, I can't remember the... I mean, yeah, Wells is the brewery that makes it. Sorry. Yeah. But this was surprisingly really good. It was more of an ale type beer that had a subtle like banana bread flavor to it. Nothing overwhelming. Yeah. It was good. It was really refreshing, especially. I mean, granted, it was 11 in the morning, so I had a beer basically for brunch, but whatever. It was brunch. <laughs> no big deal. That's fine. But uh, it, it was good. I really enjoyed it. I would get it again. It was pretty refreshing. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, it, again, it wasn't the most expensive beer. It was uh, Modelo's ten fifty. You can get a Sierra Nevada hazy little thing is eleven fifty, and Bud Light's nine fifty. So this was like in the middle, which yeah, I would get this again. It was really good. So I thoroughly okay. enjoyed it. Good. So if you're curious and if you like beer, I think you would like it. If you don't like beer, don't think that this is like some super sweet, like a sour type beer that you might like. It's not that. Like you would not okay. have liked it at all. Oh no, I didn't. But try if you it. already like beer you very well may enjoy this. Okay. And then we also did the antidote and that was $6.99. And this is described as oodles of banana flavor with minion colored topping and graham cracker crumbles. Tastes like a banana cream pie. So this is the one you probably, if you've seen on Instagram, it's the cup is a minion Minion cup. And then it basically when it's put all together, it looks like a minion with like hair basically. Yes, and when they say it tastes like a banana cream pie, you think, oh, this is going to be creamy. This is going to be like milkshake consistency. No, this is like a banana flavored soda. With banana flavored like buttercream frosting on top. Yes, so you really have to like banana to like this drink or banana cream pie. I mean, if you like to drink your dessert. I think what it actually was, I think the soda part of it was more of a like a... a, um, like vanilla? A uh, cream ale is what I think. I think that's what it was. Not a cream ale. What what they call it? Cream, cream soda. soda. Just cream soda. And then they had a banana flavored icing on top of it. So obviously a lot of this is looks. So they have this one and they have the PX41 Punch, which is the purple version of this. That's a different flavor. So you've seen these if you've looked on Instagram, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually thought this was really good. And I think I figured out the best way to actually drink this. Okay. So it's a it's strange in that you you see the frosting and you think more of like if you ever had a cold brew and like a pumpkin cream cold brew and they put that foam on top that's the consistency you're probably thinking this is basically like butter cream frosting not as sweet as a cupcake but still pretty sweet like you would see on a cupcake like it's solid and heavy and sets on top okay so I think the way to drink this is to mix it all together because I we drank some of it separately. And then I at the very I was like, you know, I'm gonna mix it up. So I mix it up and it was really, really good mixed all together. The consistency is so weird though to me. It's more it's kind of like a it becomes almost like a root beer float consistency. Kinda. It's like the whipped cream frosting yes. on top. Is that's how I how I'd describe it. It's it's so whipped. 
It's well, again, light it's, and it's, whipped. It's legitimate frosting, though. It's kind of heavy. I mean, kind of. Yeah. I don't know. Again, it's really good. <laughs> I liked it. Um, I think, in my opinion, I would say mix this. Okay. I'm sure it's a lot of sugar either way. Looks <laughs> yeah. really cool and it tastes I, I actually like the taste of it. I thought it was good. No, no, no. It was good. I I just had the soda at first. I didn't have any of the frosting on top. And I still I liked it like that, just like that. Yeah. So I mean you could drink it any other way. I mean, it's still gonna taste good. So yeah. We uh, I we recommend that drink yeah. for sure. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah, the the only thing else I'll say about this is that um, there are freestyle machines. So if you have a freestyle mug or you order your drink, you can go up and get it yourself. The only thing I'll add, the team members here were great. They were fantastic. They were coming to tables and talking. And they would all, so if you've ever seen Minions, they, instead of saying hello, they go, Bello. Bello. That's how the Minions talk. Mm-hmm. So when you walk in, all of the team members would be like, Bello. And they walk by each other. They say, Bello. So they all like are in character the whole time. And they'll come to your table and ask you, what'd you get? And they'll, like when I told them I got the Uncle Drew saying, Uncle Drew, and started yelling and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So they're very much into, you know, at least oh, it's soft opening I and mean, things like that. But hopefully it stays consistent. Like they were all really into it um, We were because we're in the break room area. And I, I think our daughter said something about minions. He goes, oh, yeah, those those are my bosses. Like the, yeah. the minions are running the place is the whole concept behind this. But we had three different team members approach our table to talk about what we we're eating or if we looked around or what we saw, just stuff like that. Yeah. It was very is very cool. And they they were very good about telling you exactly what you needed to do when you walked in the doors. And there was like three, three people at one time were standing at the front. Yeah. Like greeting you. I don't know. It just felt very welcoming and they were trying really, really hard to make sure everybody knew what they needed to do. Yes. You know, there was no confusion. And so that was really appreciated. It didn't, it didn't feel hectic. It didn't feel like anything was going wrong. It it felt very put together. It did. Granted, we got there. It wasn't really busy when we ate because again, it was like 11 something in the morning. I mean, it was barely 11. (laughs) Right. It definitely started getting busier toward the end of our meal. Sure. But um, one thing I will note, and I, I told you this when we were sitting there. So one thing that's really cool about the entire Minions Land area is they have songs like pop songs Mm -hmm. that are recorded with minions singing it in their own language in their own language which is (laughs) hilarious so during it you hear and you and we notice we're like i I think oh they are singing this so it's like i think it's at the end of like despicable two and three they actually would sing at the wedding or one of them Mm -hmm. so i think that's the concept behind it but the music isn't insanely loud it's like at a good volume where you can hear it but you don't have to yell to talk so it did have a very it did actually have a very relaxed sort of vibe in here, which I was a little surprised yeah. by because sometimes quick service especially can be really hectic. Mm-hmm. Um, now, when this is like, you know, all open and everything, who, I'm sure it'll be, you know, busier. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think I would like to try some of the other foods. Like I said, my food, I didn't really love a ton. It was okay. So I'd like to try some of the other things. But yeah, and concept wise, like for kids and like families and things like that, I think it's a really fun restaurant and... I agree. You know, if you're a fan of Minions, you'll you'll enjoy this, the uh, the ambiance of it all. Exactly. I think it's a good addition to this area for sure. Yeah. So, all right, let's move on from Minions Cafe. Is it Minions Cafe, by the way? There's two, right? It's I Minion think it's, Land. So it's Minions. Minion Land and Minions Cafe, I believe. That's, that's not confusing. I think it's the <laughs> Minions run the cafe. I Got don't it. Okay. Okay. Either way, you'll know what they're talking about. So. <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, let's talk about what else you can find in the land. So there is a sweet shop on the corner, kind of as you walk past VillainCon, and it's called Bake My Day. Bake My Day is a sweet shop that has, I don't know, macarons, uh, cake pops. They've got cupcakes. They've got you know, fudge. Fudge. Just a they had candy bars that were themed after the girls from Despicable Me. Yeah. By the cash register. A lot of packaged candies and stuff too. And a lot of merchandise based on um, some of the minion stuff, but a lot of uh, fluffy merchandise, the unicorn. Yeah. And our daughter actually bought a fluffy unicorn and she, she loves it. She didn't buy the fluffy unicorn. Daddy bought <laughs> it for her. Right. Um, but, you know, t-shirts and purses and uh, lounge flies and 
spirit jerseys and it's yeah there's a, just a bunch of merchandise in there i will say it's so. not very big in here it's pretty small it's pretty small pretty tight mm -hmm. again well themed you had minions like one minion was hanging from the ceiling and another oh minion gosh. was shooting a like love arrow at him so that's it's like, right it was like splatted on the ceiling the whole oh, land is so like cute. the minions are running amok all over the place yeah. so but yeah, yeah it's very it was very tight in here not very big at all yeah so it's it's uh, not the side which we'll talk about um evil stuff evil stuff's much bigger than this this is yes very very, very small well and i was kind of bummed because they wanted to try the minion cake pop that they have and they were out so um yeah i, th I think they were out of all the minions themed stuff everything else was like fluffy and uh, stuff in the in the case, but that's okay. Um, so anyway, after that, we went to Evil Stuff, which I just mentioned. That's the gift gift shop attached to Villain Con. And what did we find in there? There's a lot of stuff in here. So it's a lot of the villain based <laughs> things, like Macho Macho, mm -hmm. my favorite, which is the uh, Balazar Brat. Balthazar. Balthazar. He is from Despicable Me Three. I love him. First off, he's the, he has great music because it's the '80s mm -hmm. and uh, Trey Parker. Voice team. Right. So it's hilarious because I like South Park. But right. um, they had him. They had all the villains like uh, Scarlet Overkill. They had the minions in here again, like dressed up on. They would be on uh, some of the, the things where the clothes were. So they were all over the place. They had, you know, your typical things you would see in a, in a gift shop. Hats and shirts and jackets. And, you know, our son, we got him a little a nano little gun nano gun that yep. made a bunch of noise, which he fell in love with, which is funny. So when we bought it. Uh, because I also have the purple minion stuff. And his thing was like, the have a minion. And they'll mm -hmm. say like, have a bad day. Mm -hmm. And I think it's also the villain thing. So when we bought it, the guy was really nice. He's like, do you want me to take it out of the box? Cause it had some of those like, you know, impossible things to get out. Right. And, uh, and I was he like, saw our son. He well, he like, saw, well. he, you know, I was like, yeah, thank you very much. So he took it off and when we go in a really nice way, he goes, have a bad day. Like in a really <laughs> nice way. And I kind of, <laughs> Cause it took me a second. I was like, well, he's like, Oh, it's right. a villain shop. So <laughs> they kind of stay in character in here. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, they had, most of it was, they had a lot of villain con specific themed stuff. They had mm -hmm. a pass holder shirt. Yep. Most of it was a lot of a villain stuff, a minion stuff. So just, you know, what you'd expect in a gift shop, basically. Yeah. I mean, it's based. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, we did that. And then we did not actually get to try any, but we did go buy freeze ray pops. And that's the basically the popsicle place. A genius idea. <laughs> I saw it wasn't open when we were first. That's why we didn't get it in the morning. And then we hopped over to Islands and did some stuff there and came back. Right. And when we came back, it was open. And that thing had a line uh, wrapped around it. And you even saw cast members from Transformers were over there buying popsicles. I thought that was hilarious. Because again, it's ninety. it was like 94 degrees outside. And there's nothing better you want on a hot day than a popsicle. And I was like, Absolutely. it's a genius idea on their part. But yeah, it's it's basically a walk-up window. You don't go in anywhere. You just walk up to the window and order them there. Right. <laughs> um, and like, I think some of the regular flavors like uh, mango, strawberry, coconut, they have a blueberry lemonade, cotton candy, cheesecake lemonade. Those are all $5.99. But they also have a Gru, which is Nutella, Vector, creamsicle, and minion, which is blue banana, and those are eight ninety nine. That's a that that's a lot for banana for nine dollars for for popsicles. Popsicle. Yeah, so I mean we'll probably they're cute. We'll probably try one, but for two popsicles, like almost twenty bucks, is kind of crazy. But. Yeah, no, we so we didn't get to try that one, uh, but we did go to over to Papa Dana, and that's the popcorn place, and the popcorn place is the one that has the banana popcorn. Yes, which we did try. They also serve here the drinks like the antidote and the purple drink. Yeah, they do. And they, they serve some of the. What else do they serve here? They serve some of the stuff you can get. The, the Wells cookies. banana bre bread. Yeah, you get the beer you can here do that as well. Too. So, um, so yeah, you can get a lot of the drinks that you get at Minions Cafe over here as well. Um, so you can get the popcorn. You can get regular popcorn. You can get the banana popcorn, and you can get them either in a cup for six sixty nine. Or you can get them in the souvenir popcorn buckets for, I think they start at like 30 bucks and they go up from there, depending on which one you get. Mm -hmm. Like they have the minions taking a selfie. They have them in the car. Um, I don't think there's any new buckets that were out. I think they were just using existing ones. Those are the had. buckets I've seen for a while. So yeah. yeah. So they have that. And then um, the drinks, like you said. Um, but yeah, so we, we tried a, a cup of the banana popcorn. What did you, what did you think of the banana popcorn? I... So I'm, I've been on record many times saying I'm not the biggest fan of popcorn. Like I like a movie theater popcorn. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lots of butter. So I didn't watch a movie. When it comes to theme park popcorn, for the most part, I'm like, eh. This was really pretty good. It was it was like a kettle corn popcorn. And it, it, think of a kettle corn, basically, but with slight banana flavor. See, I, I think... Okay, I agree that it has the banana flavor. I don't think it's as... Uh, as glazed as kettle corn it's is. not as glazed it's very kettle corn like i think and what they use but i thought it was good for what it was i don't know if it's worth seven dollars but it was pretty good like, and it's not it's it's sweet but it's not overly banana tasting which that, i think would be a problem if you weren't a huge banana fan that's the thing about all the flavoring with a lot of the banana stuff none of it is overwhelming mm-hmm. which I actually like banana flavored stuff. Me too. Um, which you know what? So I had the beer. We had the the antidote drink and this, and none of it was over the top like insane banana flavor. It was just subtle, which I yeah. think is a good way to go about it. Because I think if you do too much, people won't like it. So it's just it's enough where I guess if you really didn't like banana, you probably wouldn't like this. But again, it's not it it's not like over the top. Yeah. I agree. But I thought it was good as popcorn yeah. goes. It's a good mix of, you know, I don't like regular. I think the only way I like popcorn typically is like kettle corn or like with a lot of butter. So this way, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. I agree. Okay. And I think if you do get the souvenir popcorn bucket, you can get refills of, of the banana popcorn. I want to say it's $3 and something cents. Okay. So you just got to show them your giant bucket. And then <laughs> Here, you get a here's my bucket. bucket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, is that for all the time? Like, if you bring the thing back with you, I suppose? Yeah. Okay. Like, you don't have to you buy d- another big thing of it. I mean, you, you, you just, just get gotta, a refill. You got to yeah, make yeah. sure to bring in your big old bucket with you. But yeah. Okay. Exactly. Well, there you go. Um, and then the, the last thing we got to do, which I'll explain exactly how this went. So, when we got done with Minions Cafe, we ran over, it was 1142. Mm-hmm. And we were like, okay, he said, go back at 1130. The minions are going to be back out. So I'm turning the corner and oh, I was 130. No, no, this was 1130. Was it? Okay. Yes, it was. So I turned the corner and I see the minions are out. I'm like, okay, let's go. And I'm kind of like walking a little quick and maybe, oh, I don't know, 20 feet away. And he puts the rope up and closes the line. I was like, oh my gosh, we like they just opened the line. Like, that's crazy. So I was like, well, that's strike two. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we're like, okay, well, we'll do some other stuff. We'll come back and hopefully we can meet them before we have to go home. So we did the stuff. We went to Jurassic Park Tribute Store, then we went over and we to Islands of Adventure and we did some of the water rides. And then as soon as we were done with water rides, we're like, okay, let's book it back over to Universal in our wet drenched clothes <laughs> like we were drenched walking through and let's go see if the minions are meeting again because it was almost 3 30 and i thought okay if they're meeting at 11 30 and 1 30 it's on the 30 so hopefully 3 30 they're back out i was mm-hmm. just taking a guess because at the time when i talked to the team member about when they were going to be back he didn't mention 3 30 but i just assumed um so oh and also because it's in soft opening this is not anywhere on the app you right. have to ask a team member. Which I think is why these times are so very specific because they're just testing all this out too. So Exactly. Yeah. And so we we rushed over. We we didn't take Hogwarts Express to to park hop. We just went through out through the uh, the front of the park and then back over through Universal Studios Florida. And <laughs> mind you, by the way, I just want to say Jamie <laughs> Cannot say no to a survey. Listen, she. This, I want. You, I want them. Listen, I want to listen, tell. Them. You guys may not know this about Jamie. She loves a survey. If somebody asks for her opinion, <laughs> she is like, yes. So we're literally rushing over here. <laughs> Sorry. She even is in line in front of me, and I look like somehow <laughs> two people got between us, and I'm getting ready to go. They, you know, you scan in, and I see her over here with the survey thing, and I'm like what's mommy doing? And our daughter's like, mommy's taking a survey. I'm like, why? (laughs) And she's just sitting there taking a survey. So I get in the park and I'm like, let's go. And she was like, like, I got this. What about mommy? I'm like, she'll catch us or she won't. I don't know what to tell you. (laughs) So we're like walking into the park. Jamie's taking a survey. It was three (laughs) questions and I was done very quickly. I knew it was going to be done quickly. So it was not a big deal. I didn't know that. I'm literally walking going, your mom cannot say no to a survey. I can't say no. I can't say no. But anyways, Jamie did catch up to us after 
So just imagine the Home Alone scene running through an airport to make a plane and Jamie's like, survey? Yeah, sure. I got time. You're like, <laughs> do you? I do. Yeah, let's do this. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> but okay. So we're in the park and we're like, we're booking it to get over to Illumination Theater, which is kind of on the side as you're walking toward... Um, is it's it on the it's on the right hand side. So if you're if you're used to going toward where you the Bumblebee and Optimus Prime, that's it, Megatron, yeah. the whole meet and greet thing is there. It is on the other side. It's where the old Shrek and Donkey yes greet was. Um, so we're booking it over there, and we get there a little after three forty. It was like three forty one ish. So we get in line. The line is open. I'm like, oh thank goodness. So we made it. And like well, one point said, two, we were you're like, like running. I mean, we were in the line. I think we were good. And then you're sitting there and I was just like, get, get in the, get in the rope, get in the rope. Cause I was worried they were going to like shut that rope off. Oh, cause the, we weren't quite we in weren't the like rope, but we in, were in line. We were in line. We weren't like in the rope and yeah. people were, you know, so, I was, so once we got in the rope, I was like, okay, yeah. we're good. Not even two minutes later, they, sh- they, sh- they closed the line off. Yeah. So I was like, Okay, so had we done anything else differently and taken more time, we would have missed it. Or another survey. Or oh, stop. <laughs> it was a big deal. Anyway, <laughs> so. <laughs> Sorry, kids. Mommy's not getting picture with the minions today. She had to take a survey. All this to say, if you want to meet the minions, there's also Sing characters that they have, have been out. I don't know if any other illumination property is going to be out there like secret life of pets or anything i don't know i don't know i mean i think in the future they're going to okay. from what they were saying i mean yeah. the only thing i would so this was just one day it was really hot so my guess is they only had like 30 minutes in the suit or a certain amount of time in the suit but it's also soft opening so it very well could just be they're just my they could be having just they're training people in the suits as well so it could be a lot of things that I don't know if this is always how it goes, but just keep in mind, if you definitely want to do it, I would be sure to try and be there like right when they open it. Yeah. It, it looks like they closed the line about 10. Oh, and they closed it 12 for minutes the rest after they open it. So it was closed for the rest of the day. They were yeah. taking the line 330, down. 330 so was the latest one. 330 looks to be the latest one to do. Yeah. So if minions are important to you to meet or the scene characters or anybody else, please uh, pa- pack your patience and get there when they tell you to get there. So you don't miss it. Yes. Um, having said that, the minions were adorable. They were hilarious. By the way, in line, they had more of this minion songs when they're singing. And <laughs> they, so I didn't realize it. I remember from the movie, they did. The, remember the I Swear song? Yes. So they have minions singing I Swear. From, oh, so if you remember funny. All for One back in the day, yeah. minions sing it. I was like, that is pretty funny. But So <laughs> ours were, it was uh, Kevin and Bob, if you're familiar with the minions characters. And uh, they honestly, they were really, they were really cool. One thing you didn't notice this, but their eyes blink. Yeah, I didn't notice that. No. Which I think I've noticed too with the Universal uh, character meet and greets. Like if you look at the ones over in Hollywood with Nintendo, those characters talk and they blink as well. Like their oh. their character costumes are pretty like elaborate in that way. Okay, but yeah. it, it was a cute interaction like they were all you know the kids and everything were so excited and our son he's he loves being characters but he does get a little shy which is adorable um our daughter had brought her fluffy that we just bought her oh yeah and showed them and they loved that they were a big fan of the team member was like next time bring fluffy we want to see more fluffy um and but they were very strict also about taking pictures they were allowed just one pose basically I got five pictures out of that. I think they were trying to get the... I think they but, knew with the limited time they were doing yeah. it. They just wanted the most amount of people to get a picture in there. Especially because it was so hot in yeah. those costumes. So, I, yeah, they just tried to do it I fast. would assume, and I don't know this, obviously, but maybe when it actually fully opens that they would probably have... Like, what they'll do a lot of times when, like, Buzz Lightyear over in Tomorrowland, he'll go, quote, take a break for five minutes and come back out. Well, somebody, they're switching costumes. So... What? I know. That's I told our daughter he just had to change batteries, but I'm assuming <laughs> I've, they'll eventually have enough staff to be able to do like where they just go do that. Because I mean, it's a popular thing, and I think that's something. Yeah. Universal is not really big on the meet and greets as of now, but I think it will continue to grow mm-hmm. with minions and like Nintendo and even you know the Transformer one when it's there. That's always fun to go do. But yeah, I think that's something that they'll probably. I don't know how they'll handle it, but I think that's going to be an aspect of Universal that will continue to grow. Is that part of it? 
Yeah. So. All right. So initial thoughts about the land we, we got to experience as it is now. What do you think? Nothing groundbreaking, mm-hmm. but really solid theming. If you love Minions, it's great. It's fantastic. It's I, I thought a lot of it was funny. Mm-hmm. It's not subtle. It's very much like Minions <laughs> have overrun the area, which I yeah. think is hilarious. Again, if you're a fan of the movies, you'll catch a lot of the references for stuff. I, I really enjoyed it. Again, I didn't go into this thinking this is going to be some groundbreaking thing. They're just taking an area and retheming it basically. Uh, you know, eventually the the ride will be in there. So I enjoyed it a lot. And again, I love minions. I think they're freaking hilarious. So <laughs> I was <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm glad our kids enjoyed as well. Cause I yeah. just, yeah. But what about you? Oh, I, I think it's adorable. I, you know, we, we never ate at monsters cafe, which is, was there before minions and all that whole right, block. Yeah. We never really ate there. Shrek 4d it was time. It was time for it to mm-hmm. to change. So I'll be excited when the when the ride opens, and when the ride does open, we'll we'll make another trip down there to Dang experience it. it. Um, but the fact that Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem is already up over there across the street, it just it fits. I think it fits well within that area. I'm glad to see more things for children that are around our our kids' age. Yes, I that's one thing. I, yes, I very much agree with. Yeah, I think the theming is good. Again, like you said, nothing nothing like super duper amazing, but just cute. Everything's really cute and it's it's well done. Um, you know, could it be bigger? I mean, maybe, but with Rock and Roller Coaster and the the Rock Tower Plaza. Right, is that what it's called? Rocket Tower Plaza? Uh, or is that Dis- is that Disney? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whatever the 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 area with the stage <laughs> in front. That's already there. So they have kind of limited space to work with already, but I think they they used it well and, you know, I I'm excited to try more foods, more drinks when mm-hmm. we go back. And yeah, I I'm happy with it. I I really enjoy it. Yeah, I agree completely that this is great for I and mean, we've talked about before Universal can be tough with littles. Mm-hmm. And this is something, you know, our kids, you know, obviously our daughter's six now and our son is not in that, you know, baby, baby phase and, and things like that. So, um, but yeah, I think this is great for littles and I think it's a good, I mean, it's a good amount. Like it was, you've got a whole, if you look at that stream, the whole, I mean, the first section when you walk in is now all basically all minions. Once you get past the first, uh, we can go down, uh, Beverly Hills there to the right. It's mm-hmm. all minions. So yep. I, I will be very excited when the ride opens. I'm, I'm hoping the ride, if the ride is really good, that would be the kind of, that's going to be obviously the cornerstone of this mm-hmm. land is the ride. So hopefully right. the ride is really good. The rumor is it's kind of like a Toy Story Mania type thing where it's like a shooting game and you have mm-hmm. a score. So if that's the case, that is up my alley, which I will th- very much enjoy. And yeah, I, I think it's great for, like you said, I think more stuff for kids. I think they're taking a, a popular ip obviously with the last few minions movies doing very well that people love and putting it in there so yeah i i really enjoyed the cafe i think the cafe was really really well done Mm -hmm. i really liked the music that they played in there because again Mm -hmm. like you don't notice it at first because it's very like 70s music because like the first minions movie takes place in the 70s the first one? Or the, the Rise of Gru, excuse me. The Rise, Rise of, of Gru is in the yeah. 70s. And mm-hmm. then some, so you have some 70s music, but it takes a minute for you to re- realize that it's the minions that are singing it. So there's all these songs that you know the beats to that takes you a minute. So stuff like that. Like I just think it was, it like you said, it was cute. It was really well done. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Same. Same Z's. And when I go here without my children? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't ever want to go actually into the cafe, you can do mobile pickup. You they, can't. They have a window for they that. They have a window for that. Yeah. So that is that is kind of cool. But um, all right. Well, that's all we want to talk about with Minion Land. Mm-hmm.